Oh dear. I think I've got a problem here. We have a clear sky tonight and I'm going to set this portable rig up as well as getting the rig in the observatory going. Um, I will remember to put my weights on this rig tonight <laughs> because the last time I set it up um, I forgot to put the weights on. Anyway, let's just get this set up. Right, that's good. <laughs> well, it is a cold one tonight. It's only 5.30 and it's already below freezing. There's ice already on my car. It's only gonna get colder as the night goes on. I need my thermals on tonight. Right, weight's on. Before the rig goes on, I remembered. So I've got a project going on in the observatory. That's a video I'm currently working on and uh, when that's complete I'll get that out and show you. This video tonight is going to be based on me getting this Ascar 400 rig going with my 2600 one shot colour camera. I'm yet to pick a target. I will have a look on Stellarium and uh, See what's looking good. <laughs> okay. Just check when we wires are okay. That's the one power lead down to the battery. Oh, well, it's on. Just gonna check the balance. Right, weights are on, it's balanced, tripod's level, I'm pointing it north. Just need to get my iPad and I can connect to the ASO Air. Problem is the iPad is nearly flat, so I'm gonna have to plug that in. Right, there's more wires for me to trip over. <laughs> I'll try not to trip over them. Anyway, that's, that is charging, good. So let's see if I can connect into device. Okay, we're in. Looks okay to me. Switch on the tracking. Check everything's okay with the camera. Game 100. Minus 10. It'll easily get to minus 10 tonight. It's about minus 3 already. Um, Any 2 is on. Okay. Glue to a star to focus. Let's get some of these lights out. There we go. Vega's over there. Let's go to Vega. Let's um, just put a bit of light. Ooh. I said I was going to trip over the wire. Let's put a bit of light on the subject. Not too much. Um, yeah, as I thought, I pulled the plug out. Right, try not to trip over it again. Vega is in the history. Let's go to Vega. Well, it's just plate solving and centering the target. Target is centered, so we should now see Vega. There it is, looking good. Right, I'm going to run an autofocus now. To 
be fair, I didn't really have to go to Vega just to run an autofocus. I'm so used to doing that with a baton off mask. That's why you want a nice big bright star like Vega so you can focus manually. But with the EAF, I could have just went straight at my target. Problem is, I don't have a target yet. That's my next thing to do. Right, let's just leave that running and I'll go and uh, look for a target. Um, I'll get polar aligned and I'm going to salute on my target, which I've decided I'm going to image M31. It's Andromeda, because I want to try out this Tri RGB and see forms on a big bright target like Andromeda. This is from Amateur Astros, the Tri RGB 2 inch filter. I'm going to give that a go tonight. I think I've got a problem here. I've been caught out by a snow shower. So that was a scary time, I've got to be honest. I'm pleased to report that after a lot of drying out, um, it's all back together and I've had it work and I got it going again last night and I've now had two nights on my target. And um, yeah, it's, it's been working fine, so I consider myself very lucky. This equipment can handle quite a lot of dew, but this was a lot more than dew. It was quite a lot of snow and yeah, the water did actually get right inside the ASI air and inside the uh, Pegasus bar box. When I shook them about, water was actually coming out. So I was beginning to think that they might not ever work again, but luckily they did. So if it happens to you, I would strip the rig right down, put all the important pieces like the Pegasus bar box or if you're using a mini PC or um, ASI air like I'm using, um, put those in a bowl of rice because the rice will actually help to draw the moisture out and do it in a warm room over several days and hopefully like it has for me it has dried out nicely and everything's working so yeah I wasn't expecting a snowstorm and um, this is what happens anyway I've learned my lesson I won't be leaving the gear out again without thoroughly checking all of the weather apps and the slightest hint of any rain or snow then I will not be leaving the rig out all night. So uh, anyway, I, I hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks so much for watching if you've got this far. And um, yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, I have enabled the channel membership and the super thanks button, the links below. So yeah, there is more content to come. As I said earlier, I am working on a project with the rig in the observatory. And I can't say too much about that at the moment, but it does involve a rather nice telescope I'm reviewing and it is a prototype, so it should be interesting. So stick around for that. And um, yeah, as always, I wish you all dry and clear skies. Mm -hmm.